everybody. Welcome to Denver, Colorado, the Mile High City, along with Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. The Blues don't necessarily have the pressure on being up in this series, but how big is this game for them tonight? Well, you have to be careful, James. The momentum you've gained that you give it back by playing a poor one. You want to push this lead as far as you can in this series. Centers are lined up. Official ready to drop the puck. This is what you play for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. St. Louis gains the zone. Went for the dirty dangle, and it goes sideways. Shen's in good shape here, but he ends up losing the puck and overhandle. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Here he is in front, and that's broken up. Colorado's got a hold of the puck. Oh, he almost put him through the boards. Takes it to the front. He scores. Brayden Shen comes through. Two parts to this, James. He gets himself into the low slot in good position, and then he zips a backhander past the tender. St. Louis quickly quiets the home crowd here with an early strike. You take all the air out of the home building if you can get on the board first, and they've done that. It's a great way to play on the road. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Kadri. And he takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Taken along the wall by Burakovsky. Here's a short pass to Gerard. Oh, what a stop by Bennington. The Avs have it behind the net. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. The Blues move to the offensive zone. Quick feed to Saad. Feeds the puck over to Kadri. St. Louis has it in their own zone. Quick pass to O'Reilly. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. The Blues take possession in the defensive end. Pareko's got it in the offensive zone. Moves right to the middle. Denies him in front. in great position here to make this stop. Nice work by the goaltender. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. We got a 1-0 game to this point. The Blues will go to work here in the offensive zone. Wrists one. Oh, a clutch save. Colorado's moving it up the ice. Knocks the puck loose. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. And now it's over to Cole. It's a two-on-one. From the slot. Oh, he gets a piece of it with the glove. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Takes the return feed. To his teammate. Pumped away by the goaltender. Grubauer's confidence had to be shaken after that blowout loss in the last game. But the playoffs are about the game today. And that's a good start. Puts it up front. And they can't connect. Comfers moving it ahead. Manages to hang on. St. Louis gains a hold of possession. Steen's got it on the offensive end. Across the line from center. Here's a shot. Locks it down with a stop. I think he got a blocker on that one. Grabbed along the boards by Comfer. The Avs played along the boards. From the point, they take control of it. Here's a shot. The Blues gain control of it. Feeds the puck to play. Takes the feed. Picked up along the boards by Nachuskin. The Avs take it across the line. Tees off the one-timer. Denies him with a save. Bennington's able to bail his defense out here. A bad pinch at the other end of the ice leads to a two-on-one, and he makes the save. Still lots of time left in the period. The Blues lead it 1-0. The Avs win the faceoff. Moves the puck. Moves it to Graves. A chance from the slot. Big save. And now he moves it to play. St. Louis with possession in their own zone. 
Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. We used to call this the tic-tac kaboom. Nice move, but all of a sudden you don't have the puck. Now a quick pass to Landeskog. The Blues scoop it up along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Barbashev. Pokes the puck away. That pass doesn't go. Feeds it to Bortuzzo. And now he angles it across to Barbashev. In close! Turns it away. The shooter's right in the guts of the ice, but the goalie squares up, spreads out, and makes the save. Grubauer's done nice work here on this scoring chance to turn it aside. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. The Blues win it. And now he tries to get it across to Bortuzzo. From one point man to another. Denied by the defender. Nice block. And now he moves it quickly to Calvert. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. They're oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Play blown dead. Penalty coming up here. The Blues have been handed two minutes for hooking. It doesn't take very long to get on the wrong side of the play. You're a step behind. You've got to slow that guy down. You can't catch him. Maybe you can get away with a hook. Not here. Just tried to play catch up and got burned. The Avs get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Well, what a great opportunity for them here. Trailing by a goal, you got a chance to even it up when you've got the man advantage. Scores! Man, it can be deflating if your power play stinks. When your power play does score, everybody grabs a little bit of energy. into position so he could deflect it and it ends up in the net. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. We are all tied up in this one. The Blues get a hold of the puck off the draw. Here's a short pass to Shen. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Saad. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Puck grabbed by Johnson. Quick pass to Kadri. The Avs carried along the wall. Quick feed to Shen. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck along the wall. And now it's over to Burakovsky. Pass to Gerard. Good defensive stop with the poke check. St. Louis tries to break out from their own end. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Colorado's got the puck in the defensive end. The Avs take it across the blue line. Picked up along the wall by Saad. Tremendous stop by Bennington. Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Nice pass. They score! Ray, I don't know how many times we've traveled around. You always talk about it's better to play in front. Well, you break the deadlock here, James. Now you get out in front. You can dictate the pace of the game. He kept moving in that high slot, looking for an area that might be open. Then the puck's on and off his stick. Nice shot. The Avalanche have taken a one-goal lead here in the first. Are you surprised it's not more? I am. I think this is a well-deserved lead. They've had the majority of the shots and of zone play. They're able to capitalize, and now we enter into that last half of the period and see if they can control the game. Bozak's got it across the line, and he slides it quickly to Fulk. Here he is in front. Oh, he got paddled by Grubauer. He scores! They tied it up! Brand new game. All that work that's gone behind this, and we're back to even Steven. Oh, everybody's staring behind the net at the puck carrier. 
Hey, guys, turn around. The guy that's going to shoot it is standing right in front of the net, and it's in the cage. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Here's a chance, and he makes the save. And by number 20, Alexander Steen. Now he takes it over the line. 59 seconds. Right up front, knocked away. Folks caught with the stick, and the officials are signaling for a hooking penalty. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. And that sails over the net. That's a little bit of panic. The puck is on his stick. He's in the middle of the ice, and he misses the net. Quick pass to Shen, and he makes the easy save. Here comes the sentence. The abs have been called for hooking. Well, when you stop your feet, you're almost advertising to the official to keep looking. There's the hook. Our first look tonight at their power play unit. A criticism of their power play is that they hold the puck, they pass it around a lot, it looks great, but they never shoot it. They'll be trying to get the puck to the net more frequently. St. Louis has it near the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Oh, we got a tripping penalty coming up here. The officials were all over that. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. The Blues with a five on three, and they've got loads of time to work with here. With such a long five on three power play in front of them, they can afford to be patient. Don't take the first shot, take the best shot. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. Gets it out of his own end. The Blues have it against the wall. St. Louis is on the attack. And we've got a two-on-one. Puck picked up by Shen. Takes a wow. shot. Scores! And he puts his team in front. James, this game looked really comfortable as a tie game. Now they're ahead. They've got to continue to push. He's probably got about two seconds from the time that puck's delivered to find it. He can't see it, so he drops into the butterfly and hopes it hits him. St. Louis has gone up by one here in the first. This has not been an easy period to play, but they've got the lead and they have to feel good about it. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. On the power play by number 29, Moves it to Bozak. A chance in front! Stopped by the goaltender. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Receives the pass. Moves it quickly over to Sanford. Takes the feed. And that one's broken up. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Oh, he just got enough of that one to turn it aside. St. Louis still has time to work here in this first period to increase this lead. Colorado's won the draw. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Off the glass and out of the zone. Consider that a win for the penalty killers for now. You bet it is. Now they can get a change, get some fresh people on the ice. Textbook stop by Bennington. Well past the midway mark of this period, St. Louis has been the better team these last few minutes and could be poised to add to that one goal lead. Power play set to expire. One last chance here, Ray. Yeah, quick entry will give them some time in the offensive zone. Both teams are now back to even strength as the power play has expired. Hey, I think I killed two penalties in my life. Looked to me like the penalty killers did a good job there. They didn't really give up anything. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Sends a pass over. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Oh. 
Here in the late goings of the period, the Blues are giving their fans something to cheer about as they lead it 3-2. Colorado's won the draw in the neutral zone. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Handles the puck. The Avalanche have it in their own zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Slides the puck over. Oh, what a stop! There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play. If you're not sure what's going on, freeze the puck. The centermen glide into position. Snatches the puck with the two centermen locked up. The Blues have it now. Looks to get the puck over to Blake. And now he moves it to Barbashev. Directs it on over to Saad. In all alone! Oh, the puck was like an anchor for the forward. He's got a breakaway, but he gets caught from behind. Strong defensive effort. Here's a short pass to Blake. Takes the pass. Wow! He scores! That's three in a row! This is turning into an onslaught. There seems to be no way to slow them down. Really tough for the goalie to read where the heck this thing's going. I'm looking at the shot. I can't tell where it's going, but the backhander beats the goaltender. The Blues have been the better team so far in this first period. They've had multiple scoring opportunities and as a result have the lead. Taken by Taves. Right to the middle. Hammers the one-timer. Denies him with the save. Here in the later stages of this period, St. Louis continues to lead by a pair of goals. The Avs win the draw. And it's a quick pass to Saad. Through pass ahead. Kadri's got the puck. And now it's grabbed by Bozak. St. Louis steps inside. Shot right in front. Big time stop. Grubauer's had to be on his game. That's a great chance. And he slides it quickly to Bortuzzo. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Now a quick pass to Dunn. Puts it to the front of the net. Here he is in close. Gets a glove on it to make the save. Grubauer's the last line of defense, and he has to come up big for his team again. The two-on-one yields a really good chance, but a better stop. The setters will glide into the dot. O'Reilly's won the draw. With the blast! And that goes off a player in front. And he's ridden off the puck. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Quick feed to Sanford. And now he angles it across to O'Reilly. McCars tripped up and the official's hand is in the air, singling penalty. Puck scooped up by Graves. Pushes it across to Comper. The Avs are on the attack. Here comes the official's call. Perron's going off to the box for two minutes. As soon as the hands go up when they start to plead with the ref, you know they know they're guilty. The Avs once again send out their power play unit. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Tremendous read as he pokes it away with the paddle. Again, the denial by the goaltender. And officials right on top of that one, calling for a slashing penalty, it looks like. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. Branton and stick work will land him two minutes for slashing. Far tighter standard than it used to be on this penalty, and that was a pretty clear penalty. The game's better for it, though, Ray. I guess. Sure. <laughs> And it's four against four here with the puck set to drop. Colorado's got it in the defensive zone. Puck battle along the boards. Tarasenko's looking to make something happen here in the corner. He was locked in there. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. Sends the pass over. Great save by the goaltender on that one. 
There's the horn concluding the opening frame, but not before many, many, many goals are scored. Hey, fans, don't forget to find those draw boxes throughout the arena for our signed jersey, which we will give away tonight. As both teams get a breather here in this first intermission, we'll do the same and get ready for period number two. Official has made his way back to center rice, and we are ready to go for period number two. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? St. Louis can't help but be pleased with that first period. The two-goal lead is awesome, but it's the way they played, and I'm sure their coaches are thrilled with that. Colorado's moving it along the wing. Off the left wing and into center. Puck grab by Graves. Quick pass to McKinnon. Takes control of the puck. Turn that one aside. Quick hands. Not only does he get a glove on it, he catches it, which is hard to do. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. St. Louis enjoying a two-goal lead. It's 4-2. Puck picked up by Krug. And now he tries to get it across to Schwartz. Couldn't complete the play. The Blues' power play expires. They now go to work for a short period on the power play. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. Jostled off the puck. Taken by Johnson. The man advantage is over. All alone! And that just falls apart. No way to recover from that. That's a good-looking play that leads to nothing. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. Colorado's going to play it from the corner. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. Moves it to Landeskog. Can't connect. The Blues will play it in their own end. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Sanford. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Pass right in front. And that one's broken up. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. And now he moves it quickly to Burakovsky. Colorado's on the attack. Moves it quickly over to Kadri. Quick stop by Bennington. Battle along the boards. The Avalanche have taken possession along the wall. Stopped by the goaltender. Sharp reaction save. Bennington's able to recover, and he makes an unbelievable save here. That's a good chance. Lots of time left in this period. It's a two-goal lead here tonight. 4-2 is where we're sitting. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Sends it quickly to Bortuzzo. Takes the feed. With possession along the wall. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Donskoy. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Schwartz looks around. Tries to get it to Donskoy. Nice zone entry from the middle. Along the half wall with the puck. And that one's broken up. Great block there. The one-time blast. We've got a penalty coming up on the play. The Blues have been penalized, holding the call. I got a laugh here. The player says, what are you looking at to the official? And he's like, you holding him. Putting the grab and clutch and grab on that one. 
Colorado's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Oh, here you go. Another chance to score in the power play. They've done that earlier in the game. Here's another opportunity. He scores! Putting the special in special teams tonight. Uh, the extra work they've done, the way that they've moved some people around, has helped them cash in more than once on the power play. Wow, that's quick. Off the draw, snapped right back cleanly. The one-timer beats the goalie, who really doesn't have time to move at all. He's squared up to the faceoff. This puck is right on the tape and in the net before he can move. The Avs seem to have new life here as they get back to center. Pretty easy to tell from where I'm standing, James. The bench erupted when the goal went in the net. Now they're only down by one. Quick feed to Pareko. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. The Avs still trail by a goal here, but they are back into this one, only down by one. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Tosses it to Calvert. Belmar is swooping in on the attack, and a poke check knocks the puck away. St. Louis has possession of it now. From center, they get into the attacking area. Here's a short pass to Shen, and that one's broken up. Moves the puck. He got all of that hit. Quick pass to Krug. Loses his balance on the play. The Avs move the puck in the defensive zone. Handles the pass from the right wing. He grabs the puck here at the point. They fight for it along the boards. The Avs gain possession along the wall. Scores! What a shot! Bang, bang. Two goals and right around a minute 40. The comeback's complete. We're all tied up here. New game, as they say, Ray. Yeah, that was comfortable a little bit ago. Not anymore. Oh, it just trickles over the goal line. The goaltender stopped most of it, just not all of it. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. St. Louis will go to work as they win the draw. Slides that one right across the blue line. Calls the victim of a hook penalty coming up. Quick whistle stops the play. The good old-fashioned hook is sending him off to the box. He's almost in the right position, but he's got to give him a little hook. When he gives that tug, he goes to the penalty box that gets called every time. Power play unit going back to work. Every once in a while, you get a full moon and a great power play. They're having it tonight. Everything is going their way. Moves it to Girard. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. Nothing doing on that. Trying to clear. Call that a win for the penalty killers on that one. Yeah, he slams it off the glass. Now the power play's got to go back to get set up. And he slides it quickly to Kadri. Nice pass. Shot! Stones him in front. Smothered that in close chance. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. We are all tied up in this one. Josephs won the draw here in the offensive zone. Off a stick. Taken along the wall by Jost. Gives up nothing in front. Sometimes you're in close. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Dishes it to play. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. Moves it quickly over to Nichuskin. Gains possession shorthanded. Gets it out of his own end. St. Louis is no longer shorthanded here. You got to think that the penalty killing unit can breathe a sigh of relief. Things haven't worked so well for them the last little bit. Quick feed to O'Reilly. Into the offensive zone. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Slides it quickly to Sanford. Passes on over to Barbashev. 
good hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. And he regains control of the puck. Grabbed along the boards by Nachuskin. And now it's over to Comfer. Makar's picking up steam. And now it's grabbed by Nachuskin. Regroups with the puck back inside the D zone. They go on the attack through center. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Great hand dive by the goaltender, poking it away. Quick feed to Perron. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Takes a shot, and he comes up with it. Colorado's in transition. Here's a short pass to Taves. Quick pass to Burakovsky. Puck goes out of play, and we'll have a face-off. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looked like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Here in the back half of this period, we got a tie game. Colorado's won it. Tarasenko's lugging the puck. The Avalanche have possession at center. Fires it into the offensive corner. St. Louis gets the puck near the boards. With some open space at center. And the puck escapes the zone and they'll be forced to tag up. Right in the open ice, that one's picked off. The Blues looking against the half wall. Moves it to Cole. The Avs are in transition. Branton and got it along the wing. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Rantanen. Here's a chance. Just wide. Most dangerous place on the ice, and he can't capitalize. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Let's see the call here. The Blues are going to be shorthanded as they are called for tripping. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go <laughs> serve his minor penalty. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. Their coaches that run the power play couldn't be much more pleased in the way the power plays work tonight. James, this has been outstanding as they've been successful time and time again. Picked up along the boards by Rantanen. That knocks him off the puck. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. And the puck has moved to a safer spot on the ice. The Blues scooping up along the boards. And the defenders come up with the puck. The Avs played along the wing. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Fresh set of skaters here as the man advantage continues to try to make something happen. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. And they get the puck out of harm's way. One last rush here on this power play. And it's a quick pass to Nichuskin. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Puck scooped up by Krug. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. The Avs fail to capitalize on the power play. Both sides back to even strength. We are still tied. Really good pressure by the penalty killers there to keep this game tied. They tie up the power play in pretty nice fashion there. And he denied that opportunity. Quick feed to Tarasenko. Puck grabbed by Schwartz. Glove save, and he made it look simple. I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. Just here in the late stages of this frame, it's all tied up. Setter's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Slides it over with pace to Graves. Keeps hold of the puck. Oh, smart heads up, Reed. Here's a short pass to O'Reilly. Takes that one right in the logo. And we're going to get a whistle here. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Back underway and they take possession. 
possession here inside the offensive zone. Quick pass to Saad. Good hit to poke him off the puck. Steps inside the line. Here's a chance on the doorstep. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Up along the wing. Rocks him on the play. No one back at 2 on 0 Oh, what a defensive stop. Yeah, he did have the step, James, but the defender closed the gap and is able to foil the chance. Puck picked up by Johnson. St. Louis has it near the wall. Snaps it on net. Oh, what a save in front. Denies him again. Receives the pass. The Blues get a hold of the puck along the boards. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Tic tac kaboom. The puck blows up off his stick. He's in a position to do something better with it than that. The Avs gain control of it. Scrum along the boards. And now he moves it to Taze. Approaching the final 60 seconds here in the second. And the parade to the penalty box will continue as play is called for yet another penalty. The Blues don't like it, but they'll serve two in the penalty box. Now well, reaches in with his stick and he'll go to the box. The Avs send their man advantage unit out once more. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Kick save. Scores! Breaks the tie! I wasn't sure if anybody was going to be able to start to change the momentum of this tight game. Did he deliver a heavy load on that one? One-timer from the high slot. He's open, and this is not stopped. The Avs have gone up by one late here in this second. You've worked this hard to get yourself into the lead. You don't want to give it back here in the last quarter of this period. McKinnon's won the draw. Taken by Graves. Handles the puck from the left side. Scrum ensues along the boards. Trying to get back on the attack now. Colorado gained possession along the boards. The Blues have it behind the net. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Jostling for the puck and he loses control. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Still anyone's game, especially the way these two teams have been producing offensively as the second period comes to an end. Mike fans, time for tonight's Lucky Row giveaway. Congratulations to Section 107, Row F. Each fan receives a limited edition player's t-shirt. And fans, don't forget to purchase your player t-shirt tonight only. The third period is just around the corner. Ray and I will bring you all the action in a moment. Teams are lined up, and they are ready to get this third period underway. It's been quite the night of fireworks thus far. Let's see what this third period can do to keep up. Ray Ferraro is between the benches at ice level. Ray, we've got 40 minutes played so far. How have you viewed things? The Avs' power plays look fantastic tonight. They've got a few power play goals. They've moved the puck well and really controlled the play. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Colorado's leading by one. They're up 5-4. Quick wow. shot. He scores! They tied up. They stayed with it the entire time, Ray. I'm tired of listening to coaches talk about, oh, we followed the process. But the process is you don't get frustrated. You keep chipping away, and you hope to get to this point. Man, he laid a beauty of a pass across there. Enough air to clear the sticks, and it lands perfectly on the shooter's stick. The centermen glide into position. 
Colorado's won the draw. Moves it to McKinnon. Landeskog's able to take that quick pass. He's already got a couple of goals. He's looking for a third. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. The Blues have it against the wall. Krug's got the puck in his own zone. St. Louis gains a hold of possession. Takes the feet at the back end. And that's blocked away. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. The Avs get a hold of the puck. And now it's grabbed by Landeskog. Wax it into the offensive zone. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. The Blues move it in. Good defensive effort to poke it away. The Blues have it in the offensive zone. Schwartz draws a penalty as he gets hooked. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. The Avs will serve two minutes in the box. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty box. Are you box. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. St. Louis is ready to go back to work on special teams. I like what they've done on the power play previously here, and so they really want to duplicate what they've done. They have to be aware. The penalty killers will probably change approach. They have to be sharp for that. And he slides it quickly to Crew. He scores! What a goal! There's another one that's two goals in just under two minutes. Conversely, deflating for the other team. Man, that is a kick in the shins right there. They just couldn't stop the bleeding. The goalie doesn't get a clean look at this with the traffic in front of the net. He's trying to find the puck, and by the time he does, it's behind him. St. Louis gets the one goal lead. Protect or attack, Razor? Balance. I mean, you've got to attack a little bit, James, but you can't attack and not forget about defending either. Steps across the blue line. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. The Avalanche have gained possession off the wall. Picked up along the wall by Johnson. And here's a pass to Kadri. Hammers a shot. Denied by the goaltender. Really good save. Control the rebound. Get it into the corner where you can reestablish yourself. The Avalanche have the puck against the boards. Dumps it in. St. Louis has it in their own zone. Referee singling the laid penalty. Looks like hooking will be the call. St. Louis moves it ahead. And now it's to O'Reilly. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Oh, what a blocker stop by Grubauer. And now he angles it across to Scandella. Centering pass. Here he is shot right in front. And there's the whistle stopping the play. This is a good old-fashioned hooking the call here. He looked like he was water skiing. Man, you got to move your feet. You get your stick around his waist, you'll get called. The Blues once again send out their power play unit. They've zipped the puck around pretty nicely on their previous power plays, and they've been rewarded for their fine work. The key is to stay sharp. Don't think it's just going to happen for you. 11 seconds. The setters will glide into the dot. Gets a hold of the puck. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Here's a clearing attempt from their own end. And clearing attempt is a big success on that play. St. Louis has it behind the cage. Carries it in. Moves it quickly over to Thomas. And that's taken by the defense. They clear the zone. Using the net for cover. Dishes it to Cole. Trying to get it down the ice. And they get it down. Yeah, good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. And they fail to go tape to tape. The Avalanche have the puck while under man. Good clearing attempt to breathe. The Blues will play the puck from behind the net. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. 
Battle along the boards. Time's up on the power play. Both teams back to even strength. Well, the penalty killing unit has been in tatters for the last little while, but they do a good job here. Kill off this power play cleanly. And that one stopped. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Scooped up along the wall by Graves. Looks to set up at the point now. Move to the middle. Let's the wrister go. Blocked. Oh, he got it away quickly. The puck just doesn't get to the net. Gains the zone from the right. Puck scooped up by Graves. Quick feed to Donskoy. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Sends it in deep. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. Pass across to Scandella. Good hit on the play. The Blues scoop it up along the boards. Scores on the one-timer! Stick side's always a good place to shoot. If the goalie's not down in the butterfly to smother that off, it's going to beat the goalie because he doesn't have much to stop it with. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Face-off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Puck grabbed by Barbashev. Smart defensive play there. Here they are on the attack. Slides it across. Moves the puck along the half wall. Move to the middle, and he can't find his man. St. Louis has it in the open ice. Takes the feed. Let's it fly. And that one's turned away. Loose puck battle along the boards. The Blues. Oh, how did he keep that one out? What a save. Strong defensive effort. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. The Blues gain possession along the wall. And some good footwork to kick it away. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Colorado's got control of it now from their own end. That pass goes a little sideways. The Blues get a hold of the puck along the boards. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Colorado's got control of the puck. Cole's got it in the defensive end. Here's a short pass to Scandella. And that pass goes awry. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. St. Louis moves it quickly along the wing. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. The Avs take it along the wall. Here he is, wrists it on net. He scores! On the rebound, lights the lamp for the goal. Man, his teammate could get rich with passes like this. What a move that opens up everybody. And then he lays off in a simple one for him. The Avalanche have answered back here in the back half of the third period and have narrowed the gap. Now you make the other team a little nervous. You're only trailing by one. You stay aggressive. They get tight. I like it. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. The Blues will play it from the defensive zone. Sends a pass over. O'Reilly's going to play it against the half wall. The Avs have it against the wall. Feeds it on over to Comper. Colorado's got the puck against the boards. Trying to get back on the attack now. Colorado's got the puck at center. Here's an odd man rush. Sends it across. Shot in front. Nice save from point blank range. Biddington's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. As a great older colleague of mine says, 
This is waffle boarded away. Play set to resume with the face off ready to go. Colorado's won the draw and they'll go to work. St. Louis gains a hold of it. He takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Taken by Schwartz. Here he is on the backhand. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Grubauer. Save made by the goalie. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. Here's a chance right in front. Scores! Oh, what a one-timer to bury it. Shooter's able to corral that saucer pass, and then he beats the goaltender. The Blues with a back-breaking goal here in this third period, now up by a pair. They've played a terrific hockey game, and when they've gone off the tracks a little bit, they were able to get themselves back into structure. Now a two-goal lead. They can see the finish line now. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. The arms up. There's the whistle. And boy, look at the time here for a penalty coming up. The Blues will lose a man tripping the call. Reaching for the puck, trying to be in position. You're just a little bit away, and then you get nabbed for tripping. Yeah, it's always tough to use the I got stuck excuse, right? It never works. Another huge opportunity looming here on the man advantage. A key to any power play, if it's going to be successful, is that you can change the way that you attack. They've done that tonight, and as a result, they have a really good percentage. I like their chances in this critical moment. The Blues win the draw. Grabs the puck here in their own end. And a successful clearing attempt. Gerard's got a hold of the puck behind the net. Gets it over to Nichuskin. Here's a chance right in the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. They get it out of the defensive end. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. Comfer's carrying it ahead. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Stopped by the goaltender. Scores! The power play had cashed in earlier. They do so again here. Really nice effort with the extra man. Gets in the net. That's where the goals are. The rebound sits there, and he puts it away. The Avs have got a big one here in the third now. Well, you got to be careful that the clock melts away fast on you, but now they've got a chance. Puck has dropped, and we are back underway. Rocks him. Puck picked up by Johnson. Big play inside the defensive zone. And now he tries to get it across to Sanford. And he slides it quickly to Bortuzzo. Grabs the puck in the corner. The Avalanche have possession along the boards. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Bortuzzo's taking it from his own end. Quick pass to Burakovsky. And now it's grabbed by O'Reilly. Handles the puck. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Sanford. Makes the save. Feeds the puck to Nichuskin. Through center along the wing. Takes it into the slot. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Barbashev's got it along the boards. Here's a shot and makes the save. Taken along the wall by Blay. Backhand with intention and another stop. Really sharp, never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Couldn't make that one happen. Slides the puck over. It's a great way to protect the lead. Get it deep into the offensive zone and try and run around on the four check a little bit. Kill the clock when you can. Nice poke check. Pinned up along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Falk. He got all of that one. 
Folks, hauled down. Penalty on the way. And now it's over to Dunn. Takes the pass. Back to the point it goes. Denies him in front. Now a quick pass to Folk. Sends the pass over. Big save. There's the whistle and the official set to give the call. Well, the official's going to give him two minutes to think about that one. Yeah, you can argue for a few seconds, James, I guess, but you already know at this point you're going to sit down. The Blues once again send out their power play unit, and what a golden opportunity here. They have to be happy with their power play tonight. They've been successful, and now at an important time in the game, they have another chance. Find some space in the corner. There's another stop. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. St. Louis continues to lead here late in this third period. Less than 60 seconds left in regulation. Looking to set up offensively. Puts it on net and makes the save. Wait, they're signaling a goal. It, it, it looked like he had it, but it looks like they're signaling a goal now. Short-handed goals are crippling in a game. They could have lost touch with the game, but this shorty ties the game up. The Avalanche have answered the bell here late in the third period with a huge goal here, Ray. Now it looks like overtime might be just around the corner as we're all square with under five left. Gets in front of it. Colorado's got possession while undermanned. Solid body contact. St. Louis has possession of it now. Couldn't complete the play. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Handles it along the blue line. Moves it to Sanford. Puck scooped up by Bozak. And that goes off a player. And they manage to clear it. The Blues have it behind the net. Now he slides it up to Thomas. There's the horn to end period number three. Still deadlocked here. That means overtime is coming up. Hey, kids, don't forget if you're a member of our rookie team, you'll have the opportunity to have a couple of our players sign autographs after the game. Moments away, we'll drop the puck for overtime.
And we are just moments away from overtime. The Avs win the draw and get their penalty killing unit off to a good start. Sent into the offensive zone. Quick pass over to O'Reilly. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. And the puck skips away after that move. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Moves it quickly over to Shen. And now he moves it quickly to O'Reilly. Pumps the puck away. Scrum ensues along the boards. The power play looking anything but as they give up a shorthanded goal with both teams back now at even strength. Well, they're not going to think too much about that. You, will, you want to at least generate a little momentum on your power play. Not only did they not score, they gave up a shorty, which is always deflating. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. The Blues carry it along the wall. Colorado's got the puck along the boards. Quick feed to Rantanen. Game on a stick, and he keeps it alive. What a stop. Quick pass across to Tarasenko. And that one's stolen at center ice. St. Louis has it behind the cage. And it's a quick pass to Krug. And now he moves it to Thomas. The Blues played along the boards. Colorado's looking to break out. Referee's hand goes up in the air. We got a delayed penalty coming up here. Whistle blown, stopping the play. Bozak's mugging of the player pretty cut and dry on this one, holding the call. Player's got a little bit of a beef here, but when you reach out with your arm, that signals to the official to keep a closer look. It's a penalty no matter how you shine it these days. Another sense of urgency for this man advantage unit as they go back to work. Oh, thank you very much. A power play in overtime, a chance to put this game away. You've earned the power play. Now you want to make sure that you cash in. And they move the puck out of harm's way. The Avs have it now. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Nichuskin. From the left side, takes it at center. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. The Blues get a hold of the puck off the draw. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Colorado's got a hold of the puck. Moving into the attacking zone. Takes a shot, comes up with a stop. Comfer's got control of the puck in the corner. Pokes it away in his own end. Here's a short pass to Nichuskin. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Puck grabbed by O'Reilly. Into the offensive end now. St. Louis plays it along the wing. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Quick pass to Comper. Colorado's power play fails to capitalize an OT. Oh man, the power play misses here in overtime. The penalty killers can breathe a sigh of relief now. Jabs the puck away. Can't keep a hold of it. Colorado's got the puck in the defensive end. Moves it over to Gerard. The Avs take it across the blue line. Snaps it onto the net, turns it away. St. Louis plays it along the boards. The Avalanche have the puck in their own end. Moves it to Jost. Taken by Krug. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. From the point, they take control of it. The Avs take possession in the defensive end. Gaining momentum along the wing. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Denies that opportunity. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. A critical draw here. The Blues win it. Shot with the stop. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone.
St. Louis takes possession off the faceoff. Blocked in traffic. The Avs gain control of the puck against the wall. Burakovsky is taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Here comes the call from the official. The Blues are being called for tripping. Played with fire. He got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the puck. And sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down and he's got to go to the box. Tight game and what an opportunity for the power play unit here. Sometimes you have to wait for your chances. Other times they come in a gift basket. Hello, power play in overtime. Tries to get it over to play. Fails to find the open man. Dumps it in. Colorado's going to play the puck from behind the cage. The Avs move to the offensive zone. Blocker saved by Bennington. Really smooth stop here as he deflects this puck into the corner out of danger. Tries to get it out of their own end. Big defensive play on that clear. Now puck's got to get out, especially late. He does a nice job here. Gains the zone through center. Knocked away. St. Louis gains possession shorthanded. Puck slid down the ice. Looking to break out here on the power play. Landis Gunn swinging the puck through center ice. Takes the feed. Moves it quickly over to Rantanen. Puck picked up by Kadri. Power play expires, and what a blown opportunity here in overtime. Well, the timing of this power play was really important, obviously, in overtime, and they don't get it done, so we go back to even strength. Here he is from the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. And this goalie is so athletic. He covers room in the net even after he's deep out of position. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Kadri's won the draw. And he slides it quickly to Saad. Moves the puck. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Move to the middle. St. Louis gets a hold of it. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. The centermen glide into position. The Avs will go to work here in the offensive zone. Oh, what a good opportunity right there. You don't get many chances. You want to finish them off, so he'll be a little frustrated as he heads back up ice. Picked up along the boards by Tarasenko. Backtracks with the puck, but maintains possession. Quick feed to Schwartz. Here it is for the win! Scores! Good night! And that'll close the book on this one as the final horn sounds. They've got the lead in the series now as a result of a little OT magic. Certainly puts them in a great spot here. The series go by quickly in these overtime games. While they still mean the same as a regular time game, they feel like they carry a little more weight. Had a couple of these OT winners, yeah, didn't you? I got you? a couple in one series. They were fun and they are awesome uh, to help your team win a series. Great playoff action here this evening for Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. We'll see you at the next playoff game. Good night.